Hi nurses, this is the Autumn Woods Education Department and we're back with another education video. Today we're going to show you how to set up tube feeding. We're going to introduce you to the kangaroo pup that we have and how to appropriately set it up. Helping us today is one of our unit managers, Kim. Hi nurses, just want to give you some quick basic information on how to set up your tube feeding. First of all, you'll need your supplies. So you need your bottle of formula, you'll need a flush bottle, and you'll need your bag, which you're going to put your water flush in. Okay, so then we're going to go and look at our order. So our order says, okay, the resident gets 90 cc's with a total of 1440. Okay, so we wanna make sure. And then we know that in the same order, his flush is 55 cc's every hour. Okay, so we're gonna set that up on this machine. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take our bottle and we're going, I'm sorry, the flush bag, and we're gonna make sure that it's intertwined with the feeding bottle. Now, when you hear a click or a pop, it depends. And then you know you're in there, just twist. Once you twist, you can take your feeding, your flush bag, and then you simply just can hang them like this. Okay, so we're gonna go and turn this on. Now, you're gonna see keep settings or clear settings. We always want to clear the settings. You never want to put up a feeding that another feeding has already ran because you'll give the resident a false dose. Therefore, then you'll start a weight loss and we don't want that. So this is what we're gonna do, we cleared it out. So it's asking me to load a set. And when they say load a set, they mean load this. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna make sure I hold on to this so that it does not touch the ground because we don't want our residents catching any kind of infection here. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we gotta make sure that it's not twisted up in any way that will obstruct your flow. So we're gonna take this, you simply push that in, you take this cord and wrap it all the way around. Don't be afraid to just pull a little harder, it won't break. Okay, then we close that. We take this top off and we stick it up here. And we do that because you cannot leave the top on while you're priming the pump. It will blow because of the air. Okay, so you're gonna look at it. So I do remember what my residence order is. So it says prime the pump. It says adjust feed and it says adjust flush. So I wanna adjust my feed. So then it says feed rate and then feed V volume to be distributed okay and that's your total so i'm gonna press the feed rate so i know that it's 90. it said at 90 then i want to enter so then i'm gonna press for the total and how much do i want this resident to have well i looked at my order and it said 1440. And don't be afraid if you mess up, you can just go right back to it, okay? So there's your 1440, enter. Okay, so then are you done? No, but you're done with programming the feeding. Okay, so I press done. Now I want to do my flush. So adjust, adjust feed, I've already done, adjust flush. 
I'm gonna simply press that, flush volume, flush interval. So flush volume. I know that my resident was ordered 55 cc's of water. Okay. Okay, 55. So I'm gonna enter. Now I wanna go to the interval. So it says my resident is to receive 55 cc's of water every hour. So enter, oops, sorry. Okay. Okay, so enter. Okay, now we've done the feeding. We did the flush volume and the flush interval. So now you have everything reading to you right here. So we're gonna press done. Okay, now it's time to prime the pump. I will simulate that I did it because I've already primed this pump. So now I'm gonna press, press prime pump. Okay. Okay, let me explain something to you. So prime the pump, I've already primed it. That's why the machine is giving me another message. But let me just tell you this. When you prime the pump, you can do an automatic or you can just stand there and hold it. Either way, you need to make sure your top is off so that it won't blow. It won't blow this top off and now you have to start all over because of infection control. Okay, so now we have our tool fitting primed okay you're going to take your stethoscope and while you're doing this i'm sorry let's go back we can also take this top put it back on put this right here so now you're going to take your stethoscope and you're going to you're going to check and see if there's any um movement in the air volumes going on so you want to take 15 to 30 cc's and you just don't want to press it in. You want to go slow. You want to make sure you're hearing bowel sounds when you do this. Also, at that same time, nurses, you also can check the PEG tube site. Do not put a dressing up under your bumper. Put it over your bumper. I learned this. This was taught because once you put it up under the bumper, you're pulling. Remember, you're pulling from the resident's stomach where the peg tube is placed. So always put your gauze over your bumper. Okay, once you do that, I'm sorry, you're always, always gonna have your flush bottle there and then you're gonna simulate your uh, 15 cc's, 15 and 30, and you're gonna make sure that your tube is in place. Okay, so then you take that your resident, you have bowel sounds, you, you've heard everything, but I did forget one thing and I want you to remember, when you're labeling, make sure you label the flush bag. Flush bags are to be changed every 24 hours, no exceptions. We do not want to risk the chance of our residents getting any kind of infection. Also, when you put up a tool thing, you make sure your resident's name, not the full name because of HIPAA. You make sure the name, the date, the time, the room number, and the amount. There's no question if you do this, you'll never go wrong. You always have confidence in what you're doing. Once you do that, you take your flush bottle, simply put it back in here, and now you can hang this here. Now. If you have a resident with no flush, and most of our dialysis patients, they have no flush. So you just put a small amount of water in here if you want to run it automatic. So I put a small amount of water in here, and then you press automatic. In that time, you can be checking for placement, and you can check your resident's peg site, okay? I hope you all learned something today, and I'm always glad to learn with my fellow nurses.